Welcome to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in our bunker in Henderson, Nevada. Now, in this episode, we're taking a look at an interesting product because it's actually really two reviews in one. The first part is the Novatel MiFi 2200, which is, uh, I'll explain it later. And the second is the EVDO service from Verizon Wireless. Now, the first time we saw this product was at CES 2009. We went to Showstoppers, stopped by the Novatel booth, and they explained to us that this was sort of the solution for the problem that many people like myself have when you're buying a mobile internet service for your laptop or mobile device. And that, that is quite simply that, well, when I started with mobile internet, we had PC cards. I had one from Sprint. Then you might move to the Express card, and then you might move to the USB. And none of those are really compatible with one another. I mean, if you have a PC card, you can't use it in a newer laptop. If you have an Express card, there's many devices that that won't work in. If you've got a USB dongle, well, you know, a lot of times it's not convenient to have that thing sticking out of the side of the laptop, or, or it's you have to hold your laptop at weird angles to be able to get proper signal. Well, they decided to untether it from your notebook or your desktop or whatever device you're using it with and include it in this nice little package. Now, the cool thing about this is it is an EVDO modem on the back end. And uh, if you know the business, you know Novatel is one of the best with EVDO chipsets. But in the front end, they've included a five station Wi-Fi access point. That's right, 802.11bg, which means that you will be able to wirelessly connect to up to five different notebooks or a couple of notebooks and some iPod touches or, or whatever Wi-Fi device you might have. It's a very cool solution that we've had about two months to play with. This is what we found. The Novatel Wireless MiFi 2200 is the world's smallest intelligent 3G mobile hotspot. It's a new class of wireless broadband that combines the broadband everywhere of EVDO with the ease of use of USB and Wi-Fi connectivity. The MiFi is small, 3.5 inches by 2.3 inches by 0.35 inches, about the size of a credit card, or more accurately, about the size of a stack of 10 credit cards. It also weighs just 2 ounces with the battery, making it just a little heavier than a standalone 3G Express card. The MiFi 2200 supports Revision A, 800 and 1900 MHz CDMA EVDO wireless broadband, which is to say that in the United States, it is compatible with both the Verizon and Sprint networks. It also includes an integrated diversity antenna for the 3G signal, meaning that the device should pick up the network no matter which way it's facing. On the Wi-Fi side, the MiFi 2200 supports 802.11b and G. As far as wireless security is concerned, the MiFi is, by default, quite secure. It supports web, which should never be used except in cases where backwards compatibility is a must, but it defaults to the much harder to crack WPA encryption. For those who need a little more security, the MiFi 2200 also supports WPA2. Rounding out the wireless portion of the MiFi is an integrated GPS chipset for location based services. None of the software that we use was written to utilize this particular function, but it's nice to know that Novatel built it into the device. The small green LED at the front of the unit lets you know when the unit has acquired a 3G connection and when there is data being passed through the Wi-Fi AP. The large light at the top is not just a power light, but an indicator. As the battery level starts to fall, the light will change from green to yellow to blinking red. Not the most accurate of runtime indicators, but it worked well enough to let us know when we needed to break out the external battery. Speaking of the battery, the MiFi 2200 is powered by a 3.7 volt, 4.25 watt hour lithium ion battery. The battery runs the MiFi for four hours with a single user connected to the Wi Fi. The battery is user replaceable, meaning that you could have an extra battery or two in your back pocket and you'll be able to easily replace the internal battery yourself if it stops holding a charge. Novatel Wireless designed the MiFi 2200 to be simple. There are only two buttons on the entire unit the power and reset switch that you can use if you ever configure the MiFi to an unrecoverable state. There are two ways to connect to the MiFi 2200. The first is through a micro USB port at the front of the unit. This doubles as the charging port, meaning that you can keep your MiFi 2200 charged and connected indefinitely, or at least until the battery on the host device dies. When you connect the MiFi through the USB port, it will automatically launch the Verizon Wireless Access Manager setup. This is a nice feature made possible by the fact that Novatel integrated a piece of flash memory storage into the MiFi, so that you'll never have to worry about carrying a separate CD or flash drive with the drivers and utility. It's all included on the device itself. One word of note, 
Connecting the MiFi 2200 to a computer via USB will automatically turn off the Wi-Fi access point. However, the device is smart enough to know when it's connected to a data bus or just to a power source. That means that you can plug the MiFi 2200 into an external battery or a power adapter while keeping the Wi-Fi hotspot open. Connecting the MiFi 2200 via the 802.11bg access point is even simpler. The back of every MiFi 2200 has a sticker with the unit's default SSID and WPA password. The MiFi will support up to five simultaneous connections up to 30 feet away from the device. Simply enter that information on your Windows laptop, MacBook, iPhone, or other compatible device, and you'll be up and running. The clean design encourages you to simply press the power button and go. Unless you're really hankering for a helping of UberGeek tweaking, you'll never have to open the interface at all. That isn't to say that they skimped on the interface. If you connect via USB and use the management software, you can do everything from checking your data usage to sending text messages to looking at network strength. Most of those functions are duplicated in the in-device web page, accessible only when connected through the Wi-Fi AP. With any browser, you'll be able to change port forwarding, wireless options, and power configurations. Performance on the MiFi 2200 is good. In fact, far better than any other 3G eVideo device that we've tested. We ran throughput tests in Hawaii, Las Vegas, and the San Francisco Bay Area with a low of 490 kilobits per second and a high of 2500 kilobits per second. In each location, the throughput with the MiFi and Verizon service was significantly higher than our tests of Sprint and AT&T broadband in the same area. More importantly, there was never a location that didn't get at least a slow eVideo connection on the Verizon network. The same couldn't be said about the other two carriers. The Novatel Wireless MiFi 2200 with Verizon 3G service is available now. The MiFi will cost $100 after rebate and Verizon service is $40 monthly for 250 megabytes or $60 for 5 gigabytes. As I said at the start of the review, this is really a review of two different products. The first is the MiFi 2200 from Novatel, and the second is the eVideo service from Verizon. Well, I have to say that I like them both. I mean, really like them. I mean, if, if you look at all the products I've reviewed in the last year or so, this would be the one that I would almost beg the PR people to let me keep, because it has been so useful. Novatel has done an excellent job in designing this device. It's easy to use. It lasts a long time. It's durable. It's flexible. I mean, it's something that someone who knows nothing about technology, nothing about setting up networks, could read the instructions and be up and running in just a minute or two. You know, if you want to tether it to your notebook, fantastic. If you want to turn on the Wi-Fi and have that at a different level so you can get better signal reception, you can do that. If you want to share it with a work group and put it in the middle of the table, that's great. There's so many different options that you can do because Novotel has done a great job in creating the hardware. As far as the service is concerned, well, you know, we've compared the Verizon eVideo against Sprint and AT&T and T-Mobile. Well, they don't really have 3G to speak of. And we found it to be, overall, the best. It's the most reliable. I mean, here in Las Vegas, when we compare it against Sprint, it's getting uh, maybe 20-30% more broadband, more throughput than Sprint. It's getting up to 50% more than AT&T. And, you know, unlike the AT&T service in this particular area, we can actually use it. It's just a really well-designed package, but there is one glaring problem. And no, I'm not going to talk about the shiny surface, even though you know I hate that because it leaves fingerprints. No, the problem is price. $60 a month for 5 gigabytes. And don't even think about the $40 a month, 250 megabytes, because, well, that's just ridiculously low when you know you're going to go over it. But 5 gigabytes is not nearly enough, and $60 a month is way too much. Unfortunately, that's pretty much on par with all the other services. I mean, if you were to get a dedicated modem from Sprint or from AT&T, it it's going to be just about the same price. Not only that, if you try to tether off of your device, they're, they're going to charge you pretty much the same. So you, they kind of have us over a barrel there. But if it was up to me, if I needed something mobile, if I needed something to keep me connected to the internet at all times, I'd rather get something like this than tethered off my phone because then it gives me a secondary device to access the network in case my phone gets lost or broken. And it is far more flexible than trying to tether off of, say, an iPhone. And it's actually faster. Now, that being said, you're going to have to decide for yourself whether or not that convenience is worth that price. If you're a business traveler or if you're an Uber geek who needs to stay in touch and you can afford it, this is a fantastic thing to have in your geek tool bag. But if you're just looking to be connected every once in a while, if you, if you dream of a constant connection but you really don't have all that much to spend, you're going to have to hold off.
you should really visit the Novotel and the Verizon Wireless websites at www.novotelwireless.com and www.verizonwireless.com and check out the plans, check out the device, and, and see if it might be for you. If you want to find out more of our impressions of the MiFi 2200 and the Verizon eVideo service, you can go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you want to send me an email message, you can reach me at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been another episode of Gadget. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you.